Yeah, so the, the thing with metformin that everyone needs to know, and will know if, if they get the book, is that there are three main ways to slow down aging, three genetic pathways. I work on one pathway called the sirtuins, mm -hmm. which uh, we can talk about later, but yep. they're, they're a crux of defending against aging. There are two others. One responds to how much protein you eat, and the third one responds to how much energy, chemical energy is in your body. That's metformin. Okay. So metformin will trick your body into thinking there's not enough energy, and it'll respond and actually make your body, mm -hmm. we think, fight against aging, right. and, and particularly type 2 diabetes. So metformin is a drug that came out from the French lilac. It's originally a, uh, a natural molecule, but it was tweaked a bit, so it's now a drug. You need a prescription, oh. but, uh, but what I do is I take it. You do? Uh, yeah, I don't leave home without. What it does is it, okay. it inhibits your mitochondria, okay. it makes your body think you don't have enough energy, okay. and your body will respond accordingly, and you become what's called insulin sensitive. You'll have low glucose levels in your body, and it'll prevent type 2 diabetes. Right. What we also know from studies of 10,000, up to 100,000 people in some studies, people who take metformin seem to be protected, not just against diabetes, but against heart disease, cancer, frailty, and Alzheimer's. That's all good. That's what you find in a, an anti-aging or longevity pill. Okay. Metformin's great because it's, as far as we know, pretty safe. It's been taken by probably right. 100 million people around the world. It's on the list of the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines for humanity. Hmm. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. You're not, you're not gonna die from it. Hmm. It's very rare. Consult a doctor as you did. Okay. But I was surprised that your doctor put you on metformin even though you didn't have diabetes. That's very rare. And their view, and I train a lot of doctors mm -hmm. and uh, work with them, but their view is, unless you pass the threshold of a disease, right. we, are, we won't treat it. Mm -hmm. But metformin will prevent diabetes as well and get your glucose levels. And actually the best predictor of longevity right now, besides this clock, is your blood glucose levels. You wanna keep them down. Okay. You do not wanna go up. And I was going up and up and up, so I started taking metformin a mm. couple of years ago. You do. And my, ostensibly my biological age, based on different tests, mm -hmm. not the clock, but the other tests, went from 58 down to 31.4. So let's get back to the muscles. So this is called hypertrophy, mm -hmm. muscular hypertrophy, mm -hmm. which is great. Mm -hmm. I would love to look like you, mm -hmm. and I just don't have the time to do it, but, but it's, it's great. Plus you, you will be much stronger when you're older, which is key to, okay. to living longer. Bone density, things of that sort. All right? of that's great. Right. And actually one of the, the things we like to say in my field is, the best way to live a long life is to hang on to the handrail, which basically means don't slip and break your, your femur yeah. or you're done for, like my grandmother. Right. But let's get into something really important. A lot of people aren't sure about metformin because it, there were two studies just this year that showed that it slows muscle right. hypertrophy. Right. But here's the good news. Okay. And I, I know the world's experts in this, and I've talked to the authors of the paper. So here's the scoop. All right. First time. It's awesome. Right? You're getting this the first time. <laughs> this is awesome. What they found, and this is also work that's not yet out, so let me give you, give you the scoop. Okay. The patients that got metformin and those that didn't, they all got bigger muscles and they all got stronger. Okay. One group got slightly bigger muscles, that was the group on placebo, and those on metformin didn't get so big. But when, when, they, when they did the strength, strength test, they were equal. Wow. So they're all strong. Wow. They may not look as good. Okay. So I think it's a vanity versus longevity decision. Okay. But I think there's a way around this as well. Now, we're on the cutting edge, so we don't know for sure. But what I do is when I work out, I stop taking metformin, let my body recover for a couple of days, okay. and then I go back on it. Ah. And, you know, Peter Atia, the, the yes. doc, good doctor yeah. who, who studies this, we both agree that you don't want to be taking the same medicine every day necessarily, just as you don't want to work out every day. You need to give your body a rest. Okay. So. You know, we cycle so these. So in those days, well, that's what I do. Okay. That, that's based on everything we know in the world right now.